Philo himself wrote in Greek, and even read his Bible in Greek. His version of the Bible is called the Seventy, in Latin Septuagint, an allusion to the 72 scholars who were held to have translated it into Greek. These scholars were said to be divinely inspired, so that Philo assumed his Greek Bible could be read as the Word of God, and not a second-hand version of that word in a new language. Indeed, he invoked the inspiration of the translators in claiming that every passage had been translated with fidelity to the individual words, the surface meaning, and the inner meaning of the Hebrew text. If you've ever tried to translate from one language to another, you'll agree that divine intervention is the least that would be required to explain such a feat. The Septuagint is in fact not quite the same as the Hebrew Bible, differing in order and including additional material. In fact, it is closer to what the Christians would come to call the Old Testament. But for Philo, the Bible was in any case above all the five books of the Torah, and his philosophy is mostly presented as an exegesis of the revelation of Moses. He wrote three series of works expounding the Torah. One set out problems about the text, with suggested solutions. Another provided a verse-by-verse -verse commentary on Genesis, explaining both the superficial and allegorical meaning of each verse. A third expounded a more thematic exposition of the law. At the head of this threefold series is one of his most philosophically interesting treatises, On the Creation of the World, which deals with the opening sections of Genesis.